Why do you think the liberal arts are important? Why do I think the liberal arts are important? Okay. I think the liberal arts is so important because I would not want to be an individual who only sees something in one way. At this point in our lives, you know, you, you don't have to be a science person or an English person or a math person and confine yourself to one thing. It's good to be able to have uh, creativity um, and be able to connect like psychology and politics or English and research. I think the liberal arts really, you know, give you a well-rounded education and expose you to a lot of, you know, new ideas and concepts and principles so that you never become closed-minded and only see your way of thinking. You learn to appreciate the ways of thinking of others as well. I think the liberal arts are important so you can become more well-rounded as both a student and an individual, both in the classroom and outside the class. Fall is here, hear the yell, back to school, ring the bell, brand new shoes, walking blues, climb the fence, books and pens, I can tell that we are gonna be friends, I can tell that we are gonna be friends, walk with me, Susie Lee, through the park and by the tree, we will rest upon the ground and look at all the books we found. Safely walk to school without a sound. Safely walk to school without a sound. Here we are, no one else. We walk to school all by ourselves. There's dirt on our uniforms from chasing all the ants and worms. We clean up and now it's time to learn. Let us learn to spell nouns and books and show and tell. Playtime, we will throw the ball back to class through the hall. Teacher marks our height against the wall. Teacher marks our height against the wall. We don't notice any time pass. We don't notice anything. Sit side by side in every class Teacher thinks that I sound funny But she likes the way you sing Tonight I'll dream while I'm in bed When silly thoughts go through my head About the bugs and alphabet When I wake tomorrow I'll bet That you and I will walk together again I can tell that we are gonna be friends If you could describe the Academy in one word, what would it be? I say support. Educational. Comfortable. A challenge. Fun. If I were to describe the Academy in one word, I think I would choose family. A very weird family with several estranged siblings, but a family nonetheless. Because over the four years I've made friends lifelong friends that I wouldn't have made without the Academy. Talking to them every day in my classes, it's a lot like a family, I'm just always there for you. A lot of us are very close to each other, um, like in terms of our friend groups, but I think the fact that we've all been together from freshman year to senior year, and we've kind of grown up and developed as people because of each other, it kind of made us into siblings.
far I ain't made for rivalry I can never take the world alone I know it in my weakness I am strong It's your love that brings me home My favorite academy teacher was Mr. Logston. Me and Mr. Ratliff, you know, had a, a really, really great sort of uh, teacher-student relationship. I was Mr. Pope because he was so funny. <laughs> I really loved Mr. Beeler. Miss Whitman. Probably Mr. Davis. Um, one of the things that was special uh, about this particular group uh, was their wide range of, of personalities. Um, the ones that had uh, irreverent senses of humor ones that were uh, serious, ones that loved bad puns. I think this group also possesses um, a little more diversity across the building. Um, they've really kind of involved themselves in the rest of Henry Clay and not just been the academy at Henry Clay. The four academy classes always gave me um, solace and they gave me a place to have fun even though sometimes they were infuriating, specifically Sixth Hour, you know who you are. Um, but they were fun as a whole. The best part about teaching Academy students is they challenge me daily to be on my game, to do my best, and to um, meet their expectations, which I think is, is higher than most students and what they expect from teachers. Um, and as a result of that, I think they make me a better teacher. Um, and hopefully they get more out of those classes. So you all started your high school careers the same time that I started my teaching career. And so to be able to, not only to have you all as freshmen, but then to get, be able to have you all as seniors again, um, it's been good to see how you all have grown and changed. Um, and I've really just enjoyed spending time with you all because there's so many people in the class who are just good people. Uh, it was a huge class, and so I was a little nervous about uh, so many students, and uh, it's a lot of blog posts, man, and, and time writings. But uh, you were just amazingly uh, willing, and I think that's what I like about Academy students in general. It's you're just so willing to trust me, at least. And so it was like, here, eat this treat. Okay, uh, I don't know.
know why he's making me do this, but I will. And I think ultimately, uh, I lead people to success and you trust me to do that. And I appreciate that. Thank you. I feel like the Academy definitely prepared me in a lot of ways to um, come to college. Uh, I think in high school, I was very fortunate to have teachers that um, always believed in me and encouraged me to try my hardest to do my best in all my classes. At Henry Clay, I took a lot of AP classes and, and advanced classes, as a lot of people in the academy often do. And um, this definitely prepared me for the like fast-paced nature of a lot of college classes because you really have to learn to do things on your own, study on your own. So you have to like find it in yourself to be like, I want to be here, I want to learn, and I'm going to do this for my future. The advice that I've got for the outgoing Academy seniors is to find, um, I guess, find an activity or a job that uh, speaks to your heart. Your lifetime is a long, a long time, and you're going to spend a lot of that in whatever career you choose. Um, I would encourage you to find something you really enjoy doing and then figure out how to work a career around that. Don't settle. Um, don't settle for what's easy, uh, what others might expect. You only get one time around on the proverbial merry-go-round, so you have to remember to enjoy everything. Take classes that seem interesting to you. The world can be as stressful or as peaceful as, as you make it. The longest relationship you're ever going to have is the relationship that you have with yourself. Um, so be sure to make yourself happy. Know where you are, appreciate where you are. Don't be thinking about graduation. Where am I going to get my job? What about a spouse, a home, kids? They'll all come. Um, you're an amazing group of people. It'll, it'll all come. Just be patient and, uh, and enjoy where you are. So I'm totally stealing this advice from a movie called Fanboys. The advice that one of the characters gives to the other one is that he needs to find his own Death Star to figure out, like he was Luke Skywalker, whatever that one thing is that he's meant to do that's going to set him and set the course for the rest of his life. So my advice to all of you as you leave high school is to find and destroy your Death Star. Good luck, and uh, I'm going to miss this class as I miss every class in their own way, and congrats. I'd also like to say thank you to you guys. You've been a wonderful class, and I've loved working with you guys. Um, and that's it. Thanks.